What's going on guys? Alex Gooch here from AG Fitness coming at you with another video. Today this is going to be my first in gym video. So hopefully I'll be getting you some, uh, some little tips and tricks inside the gym. Something that you can put into practice yourself. Try and aid you with your workouts. Now today we're going to be talking about delayed onset muscle soreness. Otherwise known as DOMS. Basically the pains that you get in your muscles post workout. Anything from 24 hours after up to 72 hours. And if you go hard on leg day, you really can suffer for quite a few days. So for our own benefit, we want to make this as uh, pain-free as possible, purely so that we can function properly the day after, whether that be at work or whether it's just getting straight back in the gym, doing a bit of cardio or whatnot. Now, essentially, all I'm doing here is using the foam roller that I have fortunately got in the gym. Now, I have got my own at home as well. I picked it up on Amazon. The price I paid is an absolute snip for the pain it actually saves me after leg day. Now, what I always like to do at the start of any workout is just get a little bit of a, of a warm up on the go. I jump on the treadmill just for, for five minutes, just a, a nice steady paced walk that just gets the juices flowing throughout the body, just gets that blood pumping, airing through those muscles. And then it's only on leg day really that I do use the foam roller, however it can be used on the other areas of the body. Probably uh, your back is going to be most beneficial and I'm just having a bit of trouble getting rid of that smaller foam roller now. My gym's got a variety of foam rollers, small and uh, the large one as well. The small ones I like to use for individual leg work and then I bring the big one into play for using both my legs at the same time. Now I start off with ironing out the kinks in my hamstrings. That's essentially all we're doing here with the foam roller. It's like a wrinkled up t-shirt, essentially the muscle. Any wrinkles that are in the muscle, all we're going to be doing is ironing them out. So I start things off with the individual one on the hamstrings switch things over move on to the quadriceps now this does look a little bit weird when you first start doing doing it you're just uh, rubbing your, your your genitals over the floor essentially in the gym which uh, can get you some dodgy looks but it's all in the interest of your own body and of course any pain that we want to save ourselves is going to be essential so i always start off with that treadmill warm-up i do a little bit of um static stretching as well so the sort of things that you'd learn in PE at school you can you can bring into play here and now just move on to the foam roller just to really get those wrinkles out of the muscles just it aids in muscle growth as well because it purely lengthens out the muscles any tightness tenseness is really just going to stretch that out a little bit giving those muscles a longer appeal as well once I've done my quads move on to my calves just for good measure and then that brings us to the end of preparing our legs ready for that leg day. Now I do prefer to do this before I train my legs. Now I hope this has been beneficial to you. Bring it into play next time you're in the gym or at home post-workout. You will see a lot more benefit post-leg day. 